for this purse. So, um, like I said, this is on Amazon. We'll see. The box it comes in. And so we have the Better Sub Mug Heat Press Machine User Manual. And this gives you application instructions. And just different things, maintenance before using, um, and then they also have right here attachments, mug attachments for different sizes that you can purchase um, on their Amazon store. And then it just tells you the suggested time and temp for the substrate, um, operation process. Tells you how to turn it on, um, how to adjust the temperature, and just pressing the mug. And then here, it's showing you how to take the heating element out and then install the heating element. So like if you get a different attachment, it's just showing you how to do that. Um, and then this is pretty much let's see just showing you the technical machine fault solution just going through the problem and the solution if it was to have a problem with the machine so um, out the box we have the comes with these and the screw cord this off, this package with the styrofoam, and then we have the press itself. So, this box, this box right here, this Like I said, we have one um, a mug press. This one is a side mug press. And then as you see here is the thing that screws in that can change the attachment. They can give you a list of attachments that they have in their store that um, Amazon store that you can use. So um, it's pretty heavy, nice, tiny. Purple color on there, and of course the name of theirs is Vanessa. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug this up. Adjust it so you can see it better. And I'm going to cut it on. Okay. On here, it has your heating, your alarm, and then the arrow, okay, arrow, and enter, and then your Celsius and Fahrenheit degrees. And it looks like it, the temp ranges from uh, 0 to 440 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it says this particular attachment supports 
cup size, six to 11 ounces. Okay, so it says, um, once the machine is turned on, the heating plate must be preheated for a period of time to reach the target temperature. The first warm-up may take 20 minutes to reach 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it looks like it's you know, going to take that one off. Because we're already at 300. It hasn't been 20 minutes yet. the image I'm going to use to test. Um, so, um, what they recommend is 360 for 120 to 170 seconds. So, let me see. these available on our website um, ercprintandsupplies.com and uh, well, these are very big sellers for this time of year um, and then I have my design already printed I'm going to use this uh, for test so I dropped it down it's going down Again, um, 
This is Better Sub Mug on Amazon. The link will be in the description. So far, I'm not getting any issues and like a great mug press. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the mug in here. Then I'm going to fold down the handle. And so I'm supposed to press enter, and then the time goes down. <laughs> so on this, um, you would press, you would fold it down. I thought it automatically um, that did the timer, but on this, you once you clamp it down, you would press enter on here to get your time starting. Like I said, it does come with the user manual. We make sure that you read this because I have a habit of buying things and not reading it, or I read bits and pieces, and then I end up wondering why the product doesn't work. Um, but this actually gives you a good guide on operating the heat press. Um, step by step. Carefully, 
It is hot. So I'm just gonna cut this piece of tape here. Let's see, see. Did a great job at that um, time and temp. So I think I did the 360 for where well, it was more than 170 um, seconds because I think it was 170. What does this? Uh, no, 150. I did 150. I set it for 150, but I did it a little longer because I didn't press the uh, time. So it might have been a little longer than. But with it being on there a little longer. It still did a great job. The quality came out good. So I would say um, this is a great mug press to buy. Um, I think, I'm not sure without looking, but I want to say it is um, around 99 and maybe 80 something dollars. And I think they have a coupon right now for $20 off. So um, this is a great heat press to use. Um, I know some people who also use um, their mug press for tumblers. They just put it in there and then squeeze it up. But this, I mean, this is a, I would get this, if I had to rate this, um, I would give this a, a 10. It, it did its job um, of pressing and it didn't overcook it, bake it, um, as you see all around the mug it didn't change the color of the mug and the design the image came out the black it came out exactly how it's supposed to be so i would definitely um recommend this mug press um, if you're looking for a cheap alternative to do mugs um like i said this specific one i think is a two-in-one so i think it may can do um well, it says it can do 6 to 11 ounces, but um, 10 ounce and 11 ounce mugs. So I think that's why it's called a 2 in 1 because it can do those two specific sizes. Um, and then, I think that's because um, this right here is a 10 ounce mug, but I believe this this right here is 11 ounce so it can do um, two uh, two sizes and they also have the four in one I'll link that below as well on their Amazon store uh, store it does 10 ounce 11 ounce 12 ounce and 17 ounce I'm not sure if people will um, have to do those sizes I don't myself but I do know some people who do 15 ounce size so that may be something that you do want to look at into but um, overall those two mugs they are fairly priced and they do the job um, and get the job done and pre you know present nice quality as you see so hope you guys enjoy this video um, I will make another video using this my press doing a wrap design so you guys can see how it came out doing it um, all over cut um, this is just for the purposes of this video to see how the quality comes out if it fades if it gives off the um, what it's supposed to as you see this is the design so it it came out how it was supposed to so hope you guys like the video make sure you subscribe like comment below if you have any questions and we'll see you on the next video